Hello world, I'm artist Mary Blue Brady. Welcome to my studio. Today's making session is for BBC's Get Creative Festival and we're making books today. So one of the things I'd like to say is thank you so much for sharing all the work that you made with me last week. Your concertina books are beautiful. So great job. I've had a five-year-old artist share their work with me and I've had people share their collages and their prints and um, somebody's making a book out of fabric. So I think this is a really wonderful thing. Keep making and I'm so excited to show you book binding today. So what do you need? Let's get right into it. You will need um, fabric or I've hand painted this fabric. So it's canvas and I want you to Google an artist by the name of Vivian Suter. She's a Swiss born artist and she lives in Guatemala and there was a hurricane in her studio and she thought she lost all of her paintings. And she went into her studio and there was debris everywhere and water and dirt and she was crestfallen but she decided she would press on and she took all of her canvases outside, dried them up, laid them out, and she noticed that the residue that was left behind, the stains that the water had made and the dirt and the debris and the dog paws had added to the painting and given it a rich texture. And so then she painted on top of it. And there's a story about effort and resilience and following through and making something work in spite of incredible difficulties or obstacles. And so that was how I basically was inspired to try this. I soaked the canvas in water and then I painted on top of it. I let it dry overnight and then I ironed it out. And it's actually going to make a beautiful suite of uh, book covers for all of the books that I have in process right now. So you can either make your own or you can just have some fabric li that lying around. If you have an old t-shirt, anything like that will do. What else do you need? You need cardboard and I'm using a four and a half inch by six and a half inch piece of cardboard. That's really the back of a sketchbook. But I've also, this is the back of um, a box that a electronic device came in. So that's the perfect cardboard. You will need glue stick, or if you have PVC glue with a brush, that will also work. You want to consider um, an, an acid-free um, archival glue. You want to consider something that has flexibility. Um, you will need a straight edge and a utility knife to cut your cardboard and your fabric. And you will need a piece of twine, this is 24 inches in length to tie your book up at the end, but you could use ribbon, you could use wire, actually that would be cool. So anything that you wanna use is great. So I've gone ahead and I've already done one because we're going to add that back to the back of this concertina book, which you did last week. So you've got that in play. So let's get on and I'll show you how to do the, uh, the back of the other piece. So you're going to cover your cardboard. It's really quite simple and it's fun. It's very satisfying. Cover all of it with the glue from the glue stick. Go. Center it on your fabric and your boning knife to rub. 
or in my case, a drumstick. Then you will go around the edge again. Quite easy, quite simple. And some of you may be interested to know that um, the first books showed up in China in 868 AD, and cultural exchange is a big part of books and the sharing of ideas, which is a really wonderful thing that books give humanity. So we want to now fold the corners of our fabric in. Press down. Press down. Now you're going to add more glue to the corners. And you will fold your edges over, having a nice crease, and work it in. Pull it tight, work it in, corners tight, work it in, very tight. Can you see what I'm doing? Just having fun. I've made quite a few of these by now. And I have to say, I am really having a lot of fun with it. So, there we go. Now we have the cover back and front of the books. So grab your concertina book. This is going to go in. I'm going to line the sky up portion of my landscape with the sky of my book. So I'm going to do the front cover first and then I will finish with the back cover. So you're going to cover all of the remaining bit of the cardboard and bleed over ever so slightly onto the fabric. Then I take my concertina book and I'm going to go around the edge to make sure I get a good seam, uh, solid seal on that book. Then I'm going to center it. There you go. Rub it down. There you go. Then I'm going to center, fill up the center of the cardboard with the glue stick. I'm going to figure, I'm going to cover the back piece of paper with the glue. Simple, easy. Going to line up the top and the bottom. And I'm going to rub with my hands. I'm going to apply a little pressure. There you go. Found your book.
comes back together. Now I like to take clothespins and while it's drying, just put them around all four sides as the glue dries. I'm going to let it dry overnight. I'm going to tie my string around the book. And I've also collected a lovely little oyster shell. And then that will slide in there. And it's beautiful, ready to go. So that is simple, easy book binding for the concertina books. And next week, we're going to be making banana skin paper. So soak about five banana peels in a big glass of uh, jar of water. And I look forward to seeing you next week when we'll be making paper. Um, be well, stay safe. I hope you had a lot of fun with this and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.